feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So OnePlus have started rolling this similar update which was recently released for OnePlus 10 Pro for OnePlus 9 series, which brings the favorite feature of older Oxygen OS. So in this video, let's take a look at what all changes OnePlus have done with this newer update for OnePlus 9 series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9, which is currently updated to the latest build of Oxygen OS 13 which is version f.20 if you guys remember f.19 was released few days back but later it was held due to some random issues and after that oneplus released this newer build and now oneplus claims that they have fixed that random issues of reboot which were occurring on version f.19 and the file size was somewhere around 1 gb guys it's a stage rollout so it might take some time to get it on your device but soon i get the download links i'll provide them in the description below you can download and update your device manually also Keep in mind guys, right now links are not present. And before moving ahead guys, if you like our content and you think it's useful for you, then make sure to subscribe and smash that like button because that will motivate us in making better content with quality. Now let's talk about the benchmark results first on this latest build. So with Geekbench application, I'll compare it with the previous build also. Here single core have scored 1123 and multi core have scored 3299. On the previous build, scores were 1121 with single core and 3243 with multi core. So there's not much of difference in the benchmark results and when we talk about the cpu throttling test i did not see any kind of throttling issues on this newer build of oxygen os 13 most of the times i used to observe throttling issues on my oneplus 9 but now on this build maximum cpu have throttled up to 85 percent and if you take a look at the change logs change logs are layered to system and communication which also includes a jan security patch which i forgot to show you guys so if you go to about section under android version here you can see now device runs on 5th jan 2023 security patch and a lot of users were still completely complaining about the mobile network stability on oneplus 9 series but i personally never found any kind of issues with mobile network connectivity right now i'm at my native and i still don't find any kind of issues with the network stability part so the fixes what oneplus have mentioned with this newer build I never faced any kind of issues on the previous build. But other than that, there are few add-ons done which are not mentioned in the change logs. And one of them is related to the RAM expansion. So if you go to about section here, you can see now RAM expansion can be extended up to 8 GB, starting from 4 GB, then 6 and 8 GB. But if I show you the screenshot on the previous build, it was only limited to 5 GB. So this is one change what OnePlus have done. But I always feel RAM expansion is just a gimmick which can help brands sell more units and after that one of the most awaited feature and a lot of users have asked us on our oneplus 10 pro video so this feature will be coming to almost every oneplus smartphone which is edit app icon and ability to change the application name so this feature have been added on oneplus 9 series with jan security patch mostly it will follow on other oneplus smartphones also running oxygen os 13 so once you long press on the apk or the application you just need to tap on this edit icon from here first you need to install some custom icons and guys remember not every icon is supported so you can check out the icons pack available on play store and see which one works for you so like this you can change the app icons and similar way you can also edit the application name i know now most of the oneplus 9 series users will love this feature after that in my previous videos i have been mentioning about the pitch dark background in the app drawer so that have also been finally removed now we do get the blurry background little bit of transparency can be seen in the app drawer and that pitch white background used to look quite weird in the app drawer so here they have updated the launcher also and which includes this transparency in the app drawer and the edit option for the application and icons also we have seen most of the users reporting issues about jitters while recording video in 4k at 60 fps and that's the same story on this build also i tried recording the video in the resolution of 4k at 60 fps and i can clearly see lags while recording the video so it's a humble request oneplus do fix this issue oneplus 9 series is not that older but when we compare the video recording of hdr and non-hdr i did notice bit of improvements here previously while testing my device which is oneplus 9 i wasn't able to make out much of difference in video recorded in hdr mode with that of hdr disabled but now here you can clearly see a huge difference and the hdr videos looks pleasing to eyes 
and the next issue what oneplus have fixed that's related to the app animation speed so here previously whenever i used to switch between the app animation or whenever i used to keep it fast after some time it used to automatically change to medium but that have been fixed i've been using fast animation since the time i've updated the device and it hasn't changed at all lastly oneplus still did not add the 2k screen recording option on oneplus 9 series though they have added this thing on oneplus 8 series and on oneplus 10 series i mean to say oneplus 10 pro so let me show you that here you can see we have an option of 2k recording at 32 mbps and the same thing have also been added on oneplus 8 series but this is still missing on oneplus 9 series and i tried updating the apk of screen recording which i extracted from my oneplus 10 still we did not get the support of 2k recording so let's hope and wait in future oneplus might add this high resolution screen recording on oneplus 9 series also so guys this was all the changes which we have found on latest build of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 9 series if you still have any kind of questions you guys can let us know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day